Hello, I am going to demonstrate how to use our foot sensors. This is the Osmium MIMU22 BTP. It is placed on a plastic base which is having a detachable clip and the base has couple of slots as well for any other kind of arrangement. And the whole assembly is tightened using uh, an elastic band. This assembly can easily be attached to, to a shoe. So first I switch it on and you may notice that the green LED inside is glowing which indicates that it is powered up and I attach it to my shoe like this. So here is an Android phone which is having our dear application installed. I press, uh, I, I run the application, click on start and it it captures uh, some features of the walk for example the time walk has taken step count total distance covered average speed and the coordinate so when i press the start button uh, that point is considered as the origin which means 0 0 0 for x y and z so i press the start it says that the device is not connected so first i have to connect the device it's now scanning for the devices. Our device shows up. It's paired now. So I press start and you'll notice that the watch has started running, which means it, it is now ready to collect the data. So I go for a short walk now. So here is the final summary and the watch is still running and I press stop. Now it says that uh, this is not connected with the device anymore and the watch has stopped running so I take out the sensor we analyze navigation data which we obtained using there we open data file from phone Data has to go in appropriate format for analysis. There are five columns, X, Y, Z, time and distance. Each row contains information about detected step. We plot X and Y and ignore Z because the walk took place on a plane surface. In the graph, X and Y axes have different scales. So we adjust the scale to get right impression. One may notice that start and stop points are coinciding as was the case. I walk for nearly 32 meter in a straight line. Sensor is able to capture U-turn beautifully. Hope you liked the demo. For more information, please visit our website www.inertialelements.com. Thank you.